there is a huge object which gives us lots of heat and it is free. Heat is available to us throughout the day. It is available everywhere on the earth. Can you guess the object? Yes, you are right. It is sun. Sun is a major source of heat for all of us. Heat source is something that makes its own heat. For example, electric heater is the source of heat. Cooking gas is also the source of heat. This woolen sweater keeps you warm in the winter. Is it also a source of heat? Though it keeps you warm, it does not generate heat of its own. Woolen sweater provides insulation to keep you warm. Can you find heat sources around you? Heat is closely associated with our daily lives. You can boil water, melt ice, generate light and fly high in the sky with hot air balloons. But what is heat? Heat is another form of energy. It is also called as thermal energy. We cannot see heat, but we can feel it in some ways like touching it or standing near it. What will happen if I take this butter out of the refrigerator and keep it outside for some time? Yes, it will melt. Let us take this container filled with water and put it on the flame. What will happen after some time? It will start boiling. Will it continue to boil if I take this off the flame? Let me fill this glass with very cold water. After some time, I see droplets of water formed on the surface of the glass. What could be the reason for this? All these events are associated with heat. This utensil has a wooden handle instead of a metal one. What could be the reason? Why mother keeps the lid on the containers with hot food before serving it? If I pour boiling water in these two containers, but keep lid only on the first one, which one will remain warmer after some time? Can you guess why? We are trying to prevent heat from reaching certain areas or escaping it. We discussed various sources of heat. Effects of heat are obvious in our day-to-day -day life. We will explore how heat is transferred in the next section.